Happy after work story. Today we have Rainbow Shopping by King Juang. I should know this. I took a Chinese class years ago and the Q King Zwang, please forgive me, but it looks like a beautiful, colorful book. And I guess King Zwang wrote and illustrated the picture. So let's see. Garlic, ginger, scallions, sauces, spices, pickles, and tea, vegetables, and a hundred greens. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That sounds like a delicious meal. On a rainy Saturday, a young girl and her mom traveled to Chinatown. Ah to go food shopping for dinner. At first feeling gray, the girl soon delights in all the wonders of the market. Well, it's not gray today, it's beautiful and sunny. Take that sunshine with you, my dear. A sesame ball with red bean filling for mom, hot peppers for dad, herbs for grandma, and maybe even some candy for a girl. Inspired by Xing Zhang's experiences as a first generation Chinese American, Rainbow Shopping explores how preparing and sharing a meal together can be a source of comfort. Isn't that the truth? And connection to loved ones near and far. Look at these beautiful pictures. We have a beautiful Chinatown in Chicago. I hope you have one in your area. I visited a couple times, restaurants, and then there's a beautiful park where I remember... Um, Looking at some canoeing. Oh my goodness, look at this. What's that? Ping Tang Park? I don't know. Rainbow Shopping. So beautiful, beautiful colors and pictures so far. This reminds me of Chinatown, 22nd Street, Sir Mac. The L Stop. And then this could look like a little bit of South Loop. I know this is not based in Chicago. Oh, or this is the L. This is the L train, elevated train. And I guess, I'm not sure. Oh, these are, okay, some of the roofs. Okay, some, okay, some abstract art here. But let's dive in. I feel as gray as a pigeon on this rainy Saturday. Not long ago, China was home. But here in New York City, everything is different and everyone is busy. Mmm, gray day. Well, listen, gray green days are beautiful too, right? You have the gray clouds in the sky and then you have the greenery, or the foliage of the tree. So come on, it's beautiful. But today we could say it's like a yellow, golden, green and blue day. The sun is out. But let's appreciate every day, my dear. Okay. Mom is always sewing at the factory. Dad is always delivering food for a restaurant. Grandma is always nannying. She's a nanny in a big house. And there I am. Mm, she sounds like she has a very busy family. Well, honey, you get busy too, my dear. Mom pulls me out of bed like I'm a giant turnip. She reminds me that today everyone will be home for dinner. We need to go to Chinatown to buy ingredients. Fun. I jump up and get ready to go. The train ride is long, but mom says it's worth it. Ah, she gets to look out the window. Yeah. Sharing memories. East West Bakery. Look at this. Oh, what a fun looking place. First, we head to the bakery. Mom picks a sesame ball with luscious red bean filling. I try the strawberry cheesecake. We get a box to go. Now we shop. Oh, that sounds like a great time. People are out and about. I help mom select the freshest garlic, ginger, and scallions. Mom picks up a bamboo shoot. This shoot can grow almost anywhere. Bamboo plants are flexible and strong, surviving the toughest storms. Will you be my little bamboo? <laughs> I nod, even though sometimes I feel like crumbly, soft tofu. Mmm, 
some healthy eating habits, I must say, some good ingredients here. Up ahead are fruits from around the world, piled up like jewels inside a ch treasure chest. We go straight to my favorite, persimmons. The reader, the redder, the sweeter. Oh yeah, persimmons are delicious. Look at this, this looks like a jeweled tree. I marvel at the mysterious mushrooms. Mom takes one that curls like thunderclouds. These will keep your hair healthy and black. She tells me, black hair is so boring, I say. Natural things are never boring, Mom replies, adding it to the cart. There's nothing wrong with green hair and purple hair, but she's naturally a brunette black hair young lady. We walk through rows of vegetables and a hundred greens, yes! Just like outside. Mom bags the bumpiest squash. Not bitter melon, I scrunch my face. Not bitter melon. Some bitter things are good for you, Mom. Smiles, yeah, I like a lot of bitter food. Mmm, lemons. I used to eat the peelings and the whole lemon except the seeds. Yummy, yummy. We explore long aisles of noodles, sauces, spices, pickles, and tea. We remember to get medicinal herbs for Grandma and numbingly hot peppers for Dad. Oh, no. Can you eat hot peppers? I can no, can't enjoy it, but I love the tea. Yes, and look at this, all types of noodles. Oh my goodness. Some, soon we come to the seafood section where the floor is always wet and the fish seem to stare. I used to say the same thing when I would go to the butcher in the seafood aisle with my mom. Even just when I was little, yeah. When mom goes up to the counter, I peek around the corner. Ah, so we got a flounder and whiting and red snapper and headless shrimp. Ew. The salmon filet. Still some healthy treats here. It's the candy aisle. I grab everything. Uh oh, not a good choice. But mom says I only get to keep one bag. Good mom. I think she must have eaten too many bitter melons in her life. Look at that. She loves you. That's what a mom's supposed to do. I help carry the groceries to the subway station. The subway lamps shine like emeralds guiding our way. Another nod to greenery. Isn't that beautiful? I hear the train coming. Oh, look at that, the turnstile. This is, this is so accurate, these depictions. The drawings are very good. I hear the train coming and my tummy rumbles along. One more hour till home. It's good to feel hungry. Yeah, that's when you can have a great feast. Look at this. Will you look at this? These are excellent illustrations. She fell asleep on her mommy. Look like the brown line or the blue line, right? Sha, she got her blue hair, speaking of that. Right, express yourself. You are pretty strong, mom says. I could not have carried all this without you, especially with my sore back. You can pay me in snacks, I say cheekily. <laughs> I feel my back's growing heavier and socks getting wetter. Mom leans her big umbrella closer to me. Ooh, they're really taking care of business. The delicatessen. And when we get home, Dad and Grandma are already inside. We didn't get all the ingredients we wanted, but Dad says, it's okay. I promise everything will be delicious, he brags. Watch and learn my kitchen kung fu. He slices the bitter melon paper thin to make it less bitter for me. He steams, boils, fries, and stir fries. Oh, that looks good. Grandma and I try not to taste test too much. Isn't that wonder that, that's wonderful that the father, the husband, is the chef. And the mom went grocery shopping. You're talking about some teamwork. And then they have grandma there. Wonderful. Everyone can't wait to eat. Our dining area is warm with food and chatter. Mom and Dad bicker about whether a dish is too salty, like always. 
Grandma misses the seafood we had in China. So hard to find here. But didn't we just see a lot of seafood? A little different, but still yummy as promised. Oh my goodness. You notice you don't see any dairy. No cheese, no milk. Mm. Later on, I show mom and grandma my newest drawings. Oh, another illustrator here. Grandma tells me, your art reminds me of my mother. Life was rough back then, but I felt so loved wearing her embroidery. Her cut papers brightened up our old home. I tried to imagine my great-grandmother, a woman who lived in another time and in a country that is now on the other side of the earth for me. You must have gotten your creativity from her. Where did you get some of your special abilities from? I always ask that of my students. Who's the musician? Who's the athlete? Who's the writer? Who's the funny person? Well, everyone says good night as the rain gets louder outside. I hear dad snoring immediately because he's tired and mom's slippers still busy in the kitchen. Soon we fall asleep. Wow, you're talking about a beautiful, beautiful day. Aw, and grandma's spending the night. Cool. Look at this. In my dreams, we walk together in rainbow rain. Maybe grandma lives with them. Oh, that would be even better. Intergenerational existence. Isn't this gorgeous? What a beautiful story. Yep. Text and illustrations by Zing Zhang. Has always wanted to be an artist of one kind or another. Born in Fushu City, China. Zing moved to New York City when she, wow, was seven years old. Like many immigrants and children of immigrants, Zing tried very hard to fit in and embody both cultures. However, the world of books and art is where Zing totally and naturally feels like herself. On most days, when not drawing, you find Zing getting messy making art with children as an elementary school art teacher and enjoying all the new children's books in the library. She lives with her wonderful husband in Queens, New York. What a treat. What a wonderful story, Zing. Continue to make beautiful books and beautiful pictures and inspire and make all your days colorful even when they feel gray. All right, let's do the same. Have a good one.